Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a quick or not so quick review or new launch from Lush. I have the Halloween, yay! Excuse me, I'm a little hyper today. I have the Halloween new launch and I have blogged for them for years and I think out of all of their launches, this is the best. I am not kidding you. It is so cute. I When I walked in this the door of the store, I about died. I am not kidding. And it, everything smells fabulous. Usually there's a piece that's kind of somewhat questionable, but everything is just really spot on. They did a great job this year. So let's get going before... Um, I talk your leg off. So, yeah, my husband's like, are you going to stop talking? So here's the bag. It is stuff full, $58 worth, yeah. Or give and take a 20 or 30 so yeah. Now, um, this launch is, two of the pieces of this launch are going to be left over and saved for the Christmas um, season. I don't like to call it holidays or whatever, so. Okay. Um, now they have the cutest soap. It is so stinking cute. It's white and it's the bo the body of the soap is white and then it has red accents and it is called, um, it is a toadstool and the soap is called fairy ring soap. Magically nourishing soap that will leave you smelling sweetly of jasmine. And I am not kidding you. It's, Eight ninety five per one quarter pound. Wow. So let me get the soap first. I know you guys are thinking, why are you starting with the soap? But I did. They did have some pieces that were already cut. So this was eleven forty six for this big chunk. So I hate to open it and expose it to the air, but I will. Anyway, so yeah, they um, it's a, it looks like a toadstool, and I wanted her to weigh the whole thing to see if I could buy it. She's like, couldn't get it off. It was stuck to a piece of wood like a block, and I said, no, don't go weigh it. It'd be about $100 if it's that much a pound. Don't go weigh it. But it was so cute, the toadstool. Um, I don't know how they cut this up to sell it. Honestly, I don't. So the piece that I got has a lot of white on it, and it has the door of the toadstool where they go in. So it's all white, and then there's the door. So yeah, she, she, she said you can get a different piece. Wow, it's really sticky, like it's smells really good, like it's really moisturizing and really sticky. Anyway, I will wrap that up in a minute. So, now, the next piece of the launch. So, I walked in the store, and they had a big, uh, like, a butcher block table set up. I've got to, I'm looking at it on my phone, because I can't remember. There's so many, um, so many pieces, and, yeah. I have just never, I'm just so hyper. I don't know why. Oh, and the reason I'm wearing this jacket, this little, it's not a jacket. I got this at Charlie's, um... Charming Charlie's. Uh, yesterday I threw it on before I did a review and I told, I think I mentioned, I just threw it on and I was going to wear it tomorrow. So I wanted to go back and get a medium. They didn't have it. So that's why I'm wearing it today. So let's get on with the launch. Um, next item. Now these two are really, really cool. This one is called, I need to get them right. These are confusing. Okay, this one's called Sparkler. Now these two are going to be on for Christmas. The outside of it is a bath bomb and on the inside is a bubble bar. They look like this. Whoa, it just broke the end of it. Oh my goodness. It's crumbling everywhere. Great. I got crumbs everywhere. Whoops, but I'm not going to let that destroy my Halloween festivity moods. No, I'm not. Excuse me, guys. I'm not annoying like that. You know that. Anyway, so it crumbled. Um, That's fine. So the outside is a bath bomb. It smells really sweet. I assume there's jasmine um, sparkler. So it's $6.95, 3.5 ounce. 
Light up your bath water with a bonfire of sparkles, crackles, and fizzies. Oh, that's cool. So this one probably pops, and it's probably got like pop rocks, like um, Fizzbanger does. So, and this, yeah, like like I said, has a, a bubble bar on the inside. So it's a bath bomb, two in one. And you could try to cut it in half if you wanted, or use it all at once. I would probably just go for the big bang. Why not? And this was. Six ninety-five. That's not too bad. So let's put that away. Now, the, there's one piece in this whole launch that I had to buy two. There's two pieces. I had to buy two of them. They were so stinking cute. I was like, I cannot leave here without... I mean, it was crazy. And I was the only one in the store. I couldn't believe it. I figured it'd be sold out. Now, here's the other one. This one is called Northern Lights. And you know their soap that they have at Christmas time that I buy every year and this is bring the swirling and sparkling night sky into your bath water for a spectacular show and this is just like the same shape it is a bath bomb on the outside and on the inside it's a bubble bar six ninety five ooh and you can see the stars on this one I don't know if I'd like those flo floating in my bath water but yeah this one smells really like nor Northern Light Soap, which is like citrusy, and yeah, the Northern Light Soap is like a teal color with white chunks in it. No. Isn't that what color it is, babe? Nor the Northern Light Soap that we loved? Yeah, it's teal. No, or is it yellow? I can't remember. Anyway. We had so many Christmas items from Lush. Yeah. Northern Lights was... It was... Yeah, it was teal with white. I know that was the only soap from the launch that my husband liked at Christmas time. So there's the two, like, sparklers, what I'll call them for now. Um, one of them is actually called a sparkler. That one, the other one, the first one, the yellow one is bar uh, sparkler, and that one is northern lights. Then we get to the cute stuff. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Let me p take a peek. Okay, this one is so cute. Okay, this one is called the Wizard Bubble Bar. Seven ninety five. Cast a Lang Lang and Tangerine spell with this moisturizing little bubbler. And this is so cute. Oh my goodness. My husband's like, what are you on? Oh my goodness, this is cute. It reminds me of, oh look, he's so cute. And that's what he looks like. He's got a little wizard hat. It takes you a couple minutes to figure out what his face is. There's his two eyes. He's got a little uh, star. And he smells fabulous. Their whole store smelled like these. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. It was sitting on a plate. And, yeah, they didn't have these stacked up, but it's got glitter everywhere. And I'm sad to say there's a, somebody put a big thumbprint on the back of mine, but anyway. And there are little stars squished in this one. You can see them. They must come out in the water. So, yeah, that's a bubble bar. The Wizard. So, did I give you the price on that one? Let me look. I suppose I can always look at the price tag, too. I don't want to drop it in the bag like I did. Oh, there's still more. There's still more. And then I have more new launches for the 25 days of Christmas if I can hold on that long. So, I will do a separate video and tell you my whole entire plans for Christmas. They are so insanely crazy. You guys are going to think I'm nuts. My husband's probably going to think I'm nuts. Well, he knows I'm nuts. Okay, so that is called the Wizards seven ninety five. Wow. Um, so it's Lang Lang and Tangerine moisturizing. Okay, so then the next one is I d very highly debatable between these two, which is cuter. I don't know, but I was about to die when I saw this. I was like, "You are you've got to be kidding me!" Oh my goodness, is this serious? Okay, so get ready, guys. I gotta look in here. Yeah, here it is. So I bought about three of these. I was like, this is so cute. And I did use part of my birthday card um, that Anthony got me. 
I'll use the rest for Christmas, but it smells fabulous. Bring a sparkly splash of fruity, energizing juniper berry and lime to your bath. This is a bubble bar called the Sparkly Pumpkin. How cute is that? It matches my coat. Oh no, it's missing its little um stem. Anyway, look at it. It is so cute. So that is the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. How perfect it is. I dug through all of them. I wanted to get a perfect one except the stem must be in the bag. Anyway, so there it is. How cute. The only thing is about glitter, I get a little worrisome in the tub. But it smells really good. Really good. I need to read the notes one more time. And there's still more in this hot Halloween launch. Crazy. Yeah, there's more. Now, I just rub my hands on my pants. It leaves a little glitter on them. Bring a sparkly splat splash of fruity, energizing juniper berry and lime to your bath. So, fruity, energizing juniper berry and lime to your bath. So, there's that one. And it matches my coat. Really, really cute. And I'm going to have my nails done in this for Halloween. I'm not a real big Halloweener, but Halloweener. The spa ritual. I think it'll be perfect. I'm going to have them done tomorrow. I didn't have time to get there today. But. And excuse the boxes. I'm going to start an Instagram channel. I think I told you guys that. So that, there is still more to this launch. Crazy, yeah. Okay, then we have the good old, I have a couple other things. This one I'm sure you guys will know from the past. Christmas, and I think they launched it the first time at Christmas. This is the Lord of Misrule right here. So I think that's when they put it out, and they keep it out till Christmas. And but I didn't. She didn't mention that they were going to keep it at Christmas. She said the only. I think she said the only two things were the long sticks, are that that's what I call them that they're going to have at still out at Christmas. But they have the cutest like little wizard hats. You know, that had a star on it that, that looks like the bubble bar that is a, a gift package, but they didn't have any with the actual gifts in it that I could buy or look at. I probably would have bought when they were that cute. So, yeah, they're like big party hats, only they're just not, they're t really tall. And they have like little, um, curl, little, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm too, I'm not on a sugar high. I don't know what I'm on. Anyway, this, if you don't know, the Lord of Misrule is, uh-oh, that's our wait waitress from Kona Grill. Now, how did that pop up? Not good. I just lost the picture. Okay, so the Lord of Misrule is six ninety five. Drop this crackling herbal wonder in the tub and let the rivalry begin. Revelry. Sorry, revelry, not rivalry. R -r -i -r -i -r I just can't get it straight. I've been miss my doggy Rabby. Abby's her name, but I miss her so bad. So we'll just send a shout out to Abby, my cute little Shih Tzu. She's in Seattle. Not feeling good, are you, baby girl? Okay, and then I have a face mask. I took in five. Um, take in five, you get a free one. I thought I would try a new one since the other ones had done such wonders. I asked about the cupcake, about how it was burning my face afterwards. She said maybe you should try some other ones. Maybe you have something in it you're allergic to. I try. I got the Brazened Honey Fresh Face Mask. And this is revitalized tired skin with a warming. I don't even know what this word is. And if I say it, it it's going to sound, I'm going to butcher it. And it's going to sound really bad. A your bed dick. I don't know, but that's what it says. A your dick herbs and spices, ground almonds to polish and moisturize ground almonds to polish and moisturizing honey so whoop dripped on my my new shirt so 
that's what it looks like. It has a unique scent. It's very wet. I don't want it to drip on the computer. It doesn't smell much like honey. It's not my favorite scent, but it's unique. It's not gross, gross enough to where you can't actually apply a mask. Cause I did get one that was just so gross I couldn't even put it on. Okay, we are at 15. I want to keep this one short. So that is the gist of the launch. I mean, crazy guys. The soap is so stinking cute. Um, a toadstool soap. Yeah, how it's got stripes at the bottom, and then the top is red. I don't know. You, can, I can't show you on my phone. You know, we can't show you on my phone. The top is polka dot white. It's the top is solid red with white polka dots, and then it's got a little door, a red door, and a white, a red window. And that, that's what I showed you on my soap. Was the little red window. So this is the the round body part of it, or the toadstool part where it sits. Yeah, and then um, that's how they cut it. But it's very sticky, very sticky. Not sure why. So, and then I just picked these lights up at Walmart. I thought it would give it a little, I don't know, festivity. So that is the Halloween launch, and there is one more piece in here, two more things in my lap. Um, what else did I get? I had to get two of these. They were so cute. I just thought, I, I don't know. I just, this one, oh my goodness, this one is even cuter. His star is up on his hat more, and I like this one better. Somebody else made this one, and they had a different thought on how he was supposed to look. Now, he has he has stars in the back. The wizard. And there, this one has got the star up higher on his hat. So, they're both cute. The other one has the star down here. So, Bubble Bar. Reminds me exactly. I need to grab the Christmas one and compare it. But... And I do have the Christmas one, too. Uh, uh, what was it called? The Creamy Candy Bubble Bar? I'm not sure. And I did get another pumpkin. Let me show you that. I just thought, these are so stinking cute. Now, I got on the UK site this morning trying to peek. I just could not wait. And I, did, I couldn't see anything. But here's, here's the pumpkin pumpkin you can see with the stem. How cute is that? I mean, even sitting on a tray in your bathroom. I mean, the whole store smelled like these. These smell like perfume. It's crazy. The, this, this scent is amazing. Oh my goodness. I probably just got glitter on my nose. Excuse me. But yeah, these smell really, really good. Oh, so... There is the launch for 2014. Yeah. The Halloween. I cannot wait till Christmas comes. I am so excited. This means we are that much closer to Christmas. Now, this one is empty. Oh, this goes to that one. So, I wrote everything down. To make sure I got it right. Northern Light. And which is the the purple one, yellow one is sparkler. Those two are staying for Christmas. The rest is going away. The soap is called Fairy Ring, and it's supposed to smell like the silky underwear uh, line. Um, yeah, it's a toadstool mushroom. And then the Lord of Misrules, the bath bomb, uh, wizard is blah blah blah. So yeah. That is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I picked up another thing that's really darling. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. You guys that love Hello Kitty are going to go in. You guys are going to go crazy. I am not joking. It is so cute. But can't show it to you. I've got a pile of new launch stuff that I'm waiting until if I see it, see it somewhere else, I will show it. My lights are flashing. I don't know why. 
I picked these up. At, they were four dollars. Walmart. Really cute bat lights. I think I'm going to hang them around our bed at the headboard. I am going to deck this condo out. I'm going to get the biggest Christmas tree live cut you've ever seen in your life. We'll probably be sitting on our couch like that movie uh, Christmas Vacation. We'll be sitting on the couch squished together because the tree is so big. And all I'm putting on it is the big red lights, big huge red lights and red ribbon. I think so. That's what I'm going to do. Or I may, if I do add an ornament, it may be white bulbs. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I saw it yesterday in an old movie and back when they were using those big glass bulbs. They're not as easy to break now. They're uh, plastic, but I thought that it looks so beautiful and reminds me of my childhood. I thought, I want a tree like that. And so did Anthony. He was like, look at that tree. We were thinking the same thing at the same time. So, I will uh, upload this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, on my lips, I'm wearing the usual um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Venom and Apocalypse in the lipstick, super saturated from Urban Decay. Um, and this is Apocalypse. And then the, the gloss over top is from MAC and Brightside. So there's my lips. And anything else you need to know or you have a question, give me a shout. But, yeah, that is the 2014 Halloween launch for Lush. And it's a doozy. It smells fabulous. I think my favorite item, not so much in looks, but in scent, my favorite item is the sparkly pumpkin. It smells beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I think my favorite item in looks is the wizard that is so stinking cute yeah so get out get yourself some before it sells out it, they will restock it always um i'm not sure how long they carry it but I'm sure for a while it isn't even halloween so we still have a whole month so yeah and i hope you guys have a good rest of the day thanks for watching and i will be doing another video later um my Mimi box should be here. My Glossy box should be here any minute. I don't know where it is. It should be here, though. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and sub, sub, sub. Thumbs up. Thumbs me up. No thumbs down. I see a three on one of them. Not good. Not good. So, I will see you later. Bye.